Uh, it's an honor for us to be here this morning, and particularly in the circumstances in which we're singing the song that we are. Uh, Brother Joe Parham, back around Thanksgiving, asked us to sing a song for him. Uh, and we're going to sing that one this morning. As you know, Brother Joe's had some problems, and uh, um, he's, uh, he's having to walk closely with our Lord in, through the last few weeks. And uh, uh, as many uh, others are in this church, as you've heard this morning, and, and many others uh, need uh, Jesus right there with them each moment of the day. This morning, uh, I want to tell you about the story behind the song we're going to sing, first of all. And I might say that we've all heard the saying that bad things happen to good people. There's also a saying that God gives us a test to give us a testimony. Amen. And sometimes we have to use that test to tell others how God has benefited us. And that's been the case in my life, and I know many of others have around here that have used the test in their lives to have a great testimony for what God can do for you. But I want to tell you about a couple that was named Coburn and Joyce Croft back in the early 1970s. This, uh, this family was a uh, good Christian family, hard-working family, but they were one of those families in which everything they did seemed to turn against them. They were a God-believing family, but they were having a difficult time. And uh, in giving his testimony a few years back, uh, Colton, Coburn uh, Croft said that uh, there was a, came one night in this family's life in which they were sitting at home, in their comfortable little home, and the whole world had just come crashing down on them. It seemed like the storms of life were upon them, and every window they looked at, that they were crashing in on him and his wife. And during that period of time, they, they fell on their knees there in the living room of that little small home, and they tried to cry out to God and to pray to him and ask that he would be with them. And then Coburn in his testimony said that on that particular day, at that very moment, he was so broken so broken in his life, so discouraged that he couldn't even pray. When he did pray, it went something like this. Lord, please help me, God. Could you make a way for me, Lord? When everything else, everybody else says there's no way, Lord, pray, please help me. And that's all he could pray. It wasn't no eloquent prayer it was just a very simple prayer. When Coburn and Joyce had finished praying on that evening, they went up and his wife sat on a little upright piano in the living room of that home. And Coburn went over and sat down beside her and they sat there and they were broken and discouraged. And at 1 a.m. in the morning, as they sat on that piano stool, God came walking across the waters in that home. And he gave Coburn and Joyce Croft the song, the words of the song. And they began to write those words down. And she began to play the music to it. And the name of that song was, I Can't Even Walk Without You Holding My Hand. Amen. And this is the story that Coburn and Joyce Croft put the music. Brother Joe Parham, others have discovered that you can't walk anywhere in this life without God being right there holding your hand and being by your side. And that's what we're going to sing about this morning. Please, please pray that God will bless this story and this song and the words and that He will get all the glory from it. <laughs>
Jesus. Jesus.